Hey guys, Red one here and welcome to this video and today I will be reviewing three Lego Star Wars sets from the Lego Star Wars theme. These are all from the droid side or the separatist side of the Star Wars Clone Wars conflict. One set is from the Phantom Menace while the other two appear in both the Clone Wars animated TV show and episode 2. The Vulture Droid, the Droid Carrier, and the, the, the Tank Droid, the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. Here we have each. This is the 2011 version. This is the 2013 version of the Tank. And then this is the 2014 Vulture Droid. I have multiples of each, and I'm reviewing them all for you today. It's a new start of my channel. Please leave the comments down below on what reviews you'd like to see next, three and one reviews, and I'll be doing the figures for these sets if you request it. However, I think they're quite self-explanatory. None of these sets are really optional to buy anymore, but I'm sure if you look hard you could find them. I don't know about the 2011 version though. There is a new version of this set coming come out this year. Um, well, 2015. So, now we'll move along to um, looking at the sets close up. We'll start from the most recent, the Vulture Droid. Now, this set comes with two figures, a pilot droid and a Nimodian guard along with a, a buzz droid. I will not be showing them here, but here we go. So, let's move along. New sets. Now, the set is marginally big. It costs £20, $20, and is quite big for what you'd expect. It has a movable head, that comes in and out of the cockpit, which doesn't make much sense um, law-wise, I don't think, as they were droids themselves, but it is a nice addition so you can put a droid pilot in there. It has two wings on the side that spins up to put it into attack position. This is the way it would appear in the films or the TV series. And it um, has movable little it limbs, I suppose, here. Underneath it has two of these missiles that fire and it has some detailing appearing like blasters, although that would all be make-believe. This is quite was quite the valuable set and it was good for its money. Um, the best um, version of the Vulture Droid um, ever created because it's the most recent version. It is sturdy and it works well. And if you can find this set I definitely recommend picking it up because it is great and I don't know when they'll make another version of this. But it is pretty um, self-explanatory, really. There isn't much to it, so we'll move along now. Next up, we're going to go with the middle one. The Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. Now, this is from 2013, and I have three of them. This set is the second, the third version of this vehicle to be created in Star Wars. The first one being 2005, second one in 2009, and this one 2013. This is the best version, and I must say, I really enjoyed looking at this set. It's very nice to look at, at least, and it works well for what it is. Um, I bought them for a droid army, which I sadly have lost most of my figures for. And if I ever find them, I will do a video on all of my droid vehicles and figures, which I have quite a lot of. But nonetheless, we will now look at it. This is much more detailed than the Vulture Droid and it costs the same or even sometimes less than it. Um, the box was smaller at a time where the boxes were actually smaller. I think 
um, like I was experimenting, but they did go back up in later years. So it has two, I said, I guess eyes, those receptors, I think they're called in Star Wars or whatever, but it's two eyes, um, a movable, posable, you can have them look around, and two of the um, leather pieces, lever pieces, I'm talking um, differently, um, and it has two flick fire missiles, I don't want to push them, and some basically make believe guns on either side. It has a big tread in the middle which allows it to move on the carpet and it's also uh, looks as well but it is practical and has some detailing on the back and front of the vehicle. It is great for money, it was great for the money although I seriously doubt you'll find this now um, I would recommend it if you do somehow manage to stumble upon it on eBay or somewhere like that, Bricklink, because these are great for any droid builder and they're better than the 2009 version and obviously cheaper because that one's very expensive nowadays. Well that's pretty much it, these are both smaller sets, not really much to talk about and this will be a smaller review. So finally we'll go with the 2011 Droid Carrier. Now, this did get a an upgrade this year, well 2015, not this year, um, and the new one does cost double the price this one did, but it does have double the figures, almost. So, this came with 12 minifigures, 8 battle droids, 2 pilot battle droids, Jar Jar Binks and the Gungan Soldier. I did get two of these and I'd say the new one is good. A lot bigger than this one. This is quite small compared to it. I don't have the new one yet, but I will probably get that soon. Um, but yeah. So, it has some detailing along the top here. Especially if they could fit in for a £20 model. I believe it's £20 or £30. I'm not sure about dollars. Probably around the same because Lego charges insane prices for people outside the uh, US. Quite um, sad fact of life. The way that they price things these days is... It's quite um, unfair to people outside the US, but um, this can detach, it's quite old, so it's, and I broke it the one time I actually wanted to pull it off, but it can fall out like this, and it has two things for the battle droids to go on to, then this would go back on with the droids loaded up onto these uh, squares with their weapons on the lighter grey ones uh, and that's the way that the droid could carry around you'd have eight like pushed down like in the movie it isn't the most practical or realistic or even um, accurate portrayal of this set and this was the second version of the set now it met with three but this is better than the original one in 2001 I believe, and this is it was great. It's definitely a great set back when it was released. If you can somehow find this set, it will be much more expensive. However, I think that now that the new sets come out, I don't think this would be as expensive. But I definitely wouldn't recommend trying to look for it because you probably wouldn't be able to get it under forty pounds or dollars, and you could get um, the new one for forty pounds, forty dollars and you'd get more figures. So I wouldn't recommend looking for this set in particular, but try looking for the um, newer version. I said um a lot, as it's just much better, and it might be a bit pricey now, but I'm sure within time, Toys R Us, which I think it was released to, and Lego.com may uh, issue a, a, a reduce. I'm stuttering, but uh, let's now go on to the final verdict of these reviews. All the good sets, all the great sets for Droid Army Builders, although you won't actually be getting any of these anymore, I don't think. The Droid, uh, the Vulture Droid, would be the most common and the most uh, likely you'd find, but I still wouldn't hold your hopes you'd find one of those. I would like some suggestions on what to review next, from Ninjago, Star Wars, Chima, and I'll be doing more Star Wars videos, as well as 
pushing back my review um, stop motions because they're not getting as many views as a as of um, something that happened when I took my break, and now people aren't really realizing that they've subscribed. So if you're watching this, I thank you very much for sticking around. And I'd like to hear what you would like to see me review next. I'll think that any of these, if you can find them, will be worthwhile. But newer versions will be released soon, and I would recommend them over trying to spend a lot of money on these. I just ignore these, quite frankly. They're not worth it anymore. But that's all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will give me some suggestions on current sets to review, and I can give you some opinions on whether they would be worthwhile buying. But that's all for today, and if you would like to see the figures, I will review them, but I don't see any point to otherwise. Thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.